Hi everybody, I'm Miss Morrow, and today we will be making a little ocean crayon watercolor resist. So you see the drawing of the fish, the seaweed, and the little sand at the bottom? That's all we're drawing, and we're gonna color inside and paint over it. Easy breezy. All right, so all you need for this project is white paper, some crayons that I just lost, <laughs> a cup of water and some brushes, watercolor paint you can make watercolor paint with uh markers you can, the markers that you lose the tops on you put them in a cup of water and let them set and then it'll turn the the juice the colorful juice will come out uh you can make watercolor paint with temper paint and just add water in a cup and then drop a temper paint so um those are all the examples of how we can use watercolor paint let's see let me grab this color it just failed my orange okay First thing is we're gonna talk about shapes. Remember, the secret to drawing is knowing your lines, your shapes, and sometimes letters. That's my secret. Okay, so the shapes we're gonna talk about today to make the fish, circles, ovals. So here's a circle. The little boy just colored on it. Circle, oval, triangle. So you see two shapes make a fish, the oval and the triangle, or an oval, I mean, a circle and a triangle, either one. There are even some triangle fishes, fish. Okay, so now, we wanna make small, medium, and large. See, here's a little small one. Okay, here we go. So, here's a little baby fish. So, I did a small oval, or you can do a circle. A medium one, this is the mommy. And now we could do the big papa bear. Small, medium, large. Can you say small, medium, large? Small, medium, large. And you can do ovals or circles. Now we're gonna do a triangle. Here's the triangle shape. See the type of lines? You need a slanted diagonal line. You need straight lines. So I'm gonna make a slanted diagonal line down, a slanted diagonal line up, and then just close it in. And when you close it in with the line, it can be wavy or straight. You can make the fish swim different ways, so I'm gonna put the tail on this side. Slanted diagonal line up, slanted diagonal line down. See? All right, sometimes I think I need to be a little bit closer. There we go, everybody. All right, so now I'm gonna close it in. You can make a little wavy line or straight line. Let's do the big papa bear. Slanted diagonal line up, slanted diagonal line down. All right wavy line to close it now do you want to put an eyeball do you want to put a smiley face okay let's do it so we can do a little eye and a smiley face and do a big eye and a smiley face and here's the mommy now you can color your fish different colors and you can make other ocean animals so you can make crabs lobsters um seahorses okay you can make a shark you can even add a little uh triangle right here for the fins too remember in finding nemo he had a little uh torn fin okay so you can make a little baby you can make a circle or oval for your fin all right colors you can do every fish a different color see what if i colored the baby fish orange I want you to color really hard, everybody, because we are gonna paint over this entire picture. Make sure you color super duper uber hard. All right, if you wanna add some designs, you can do a stripe it pattern. All right, so let's see. Orange, skip a space, orange, skip a space, orange. And if you make a mistake, it's okay. Keep on going. What did Dory say in Finding Nemo? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Don't get mad. Don't get sad. Don't ball up the paper and throw it away and have an art attack. <laughs> so, look, I went outside the line. I'm not going to get sad. I'm just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. So, I'm making all these little stripes. Have you ever worn a striped shirt? That's art. That's abstract art. So I did stripe it lines. So I'm gonna take a different color. We're doing an A, B, A, B pattern. 
You don't have to do it. You can do all one color. It's up to you. All right, almost done with the mommy fish. What color do we want to do the daddy? I think I'm just going to do the tail yellow. What if he's polka dots? Now, when I paint over this blue, then it might be, it might turn out green. We'll see. Um, what if we give him a blue thing? So see, with art, you can change it up. You make up your own ideas. What if he is the color red, everybody? What if he is red? If he is red, or what if his stripes go sideways? There are so many ideas on what you could do. So, ooh, I'm just coloring it really, really hard. Oh my goodness. So I color so hard, I broke the top of my crayon, but I always use my crayons until there's nothing left. So I'm almost done. He's so big. He's so big, it's taking forever. Oh my goodness, great balls of fire, do I give up? No, we just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Alrighty, we're almost done. Uh, look, I color so hard, I broke again. You know what I'm gonna do? I think what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm just gonna use the little ends of the crayon that's a little bit easier to press. See, who knew art would take some muscles? Oh, okay, so we got the baby fish, the mommy fish, the daddy fish. We can make another one if we want over here. If you have empty room, add a fish. Oval, here's an eye, here's a smiley face, slanted diagonal line down, slanted diagonal line up, wavy line, and now I'm gonna give it a purple fin. Maybe the whole fish is just going to be purple. So I gave you all kind of ways to do it. You know, I don't think we should do the whole fish purple because I forgot the eyes and the mouth purple. So what should I make it? I don't want to do green because the seaweed is green. I already used orange. What color is left? Yellow. This is a yellow and purple fish. Those are complementary colors. So that should come out really, really good. Now it's time to do the seaweed. Let's look at the example. Seaweed, everybody say seaweed. All right, your seaweed are plants coming from the bottom. I just thought, let's do the sand first. See the sand at the bottom? All right, where is Mr. Brown? Where are you, Mr. Brown? Here I am, here I am. All right, so now I'm gonna color at the bottom. And it's bumpy, so if you mess up, it's okay. As long as you have some type of brown, you are coloring brown at the bottom. Color some brown at the bottom. Brown at the bottom. This one likes to see and be silly. Uh-oh, don't fall, canvas. Okay, so now this is, if you didn't see what I was doing, I just colored brown at the bottom. If you wanna make it neater, you just curve out your line. It could be like a little heel or something. All right, so now it's time for the seaweed. We're almost done. We're gonna do the seaweed, and then we're gonna paint over the whole picture with watercolor blue for the water picture. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Seaweed. Seaweed is a plant that grows from the bottom, and it goes up. When you get to the fish, I want you to say stop. And then when you're gonna continue on top, do we continue over here? No. You're gonna continue because the seaweed is behind it. The fish is in front. Miss Marl is breaking all the crayons. My superpowers, they're coming out. The more I do art, I just get stronger and stronger. That's all it is. I have art superpowers. Does that ever happen to you? Okay, so here we go. Okay. Seaweed. So here's a new art vocabulary word. Overlapping. Can you say overlapping? Overlapping. The fish. It's overlapping the seaweed. The fish is in front of the seaweed. The seaweed is behind the fish. Now you can also make it kind of zigzag lines like this, and it can make it like it's, it's fluffy or flowing seaweed. You see how I stopped when I got to the fish and I continued above it? Because the fish is overlapping, all right? So, or you can just assume like it's easier to color up. That's fine too. When you get to the fish, continue up here. So you can make some short, some tall, and I'll just do one more over here. 
You want to use up the space on your picture? All right. What if you want to do a little crap? Let's see, what color is it red? Let's draw a little crap. I don't know how to draw a crab unless I'm looking at it. So I'm just going to do a little scribble. I just did a little oval, and I'm going to put some lines for the legs. It looked like a lobster to me. <laughs> All right. We have our fish. We have small. We have medium. We have large. And we got a little friend, or maybe that's a sister, a brother fish, or a cousin fish. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. This is what song just comes to mind. It's time to paint. It's time to paint. So let me get my cup of water. Let's see what brush I use. Let's move all the brushes out of this one. All right, I got my cup of water, everybody. Cup of water. I got my paint. Now, we don't want the water to be too dark because it will it will actually um, overpower the colors and we won't see the fish. And let's look at this. When you use a lot of, it's watercolor paint, it has water in it. So when you use a lot of paint, it's gonna cause the paper to wrinkle. And this is not painting paper. If it was painting paper, it probably wouldn't wrinkle as much, but I have drawing paper and it's okay to paint with drawing paper, but don't use too much water. Say, don't use too much water, Miss Mom. Okay. Okay, so if you use too much water, remember, it'll wrinkle up. So I'm gonna take out the brush, it's dripping with water. I'm gonna pick this color blue and I'm gonna wake it up. Wake up, Mr. Blue. Get some more water. Wake up, Mr. Blue. So now I have all this blue. You see, you can see my brush is blue, but I'm gonna dip it back in the cup of water because, and I wiped it a little bit because I want it to be watery. And look what happens. You're actually gonna paint on top of everything. But as soon as you paint an area blue, leave it alone. Do not keep painting in the same spot over and over. Look, it's starting to wrinkle. If you paint in the same spot over and over and over, what's gonna happen, everybody? It's going to tear a hole in it. Your paper will be screaming, saying, ah! You don't want that to happen. So now you use up the paint and the water in your brush very quickly, within like five seconds. So I get more water. I go back to the watercolor paint, stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Dip it in a cup of water because we don't want it too dark. Wipe it on the cup a little bit. All right, let's see, here we go. Go on top of everything. I'm gonna stop when I get to the other area because I already painted it. Do we paint in the same area over and over? No, we don't. All right, I got some more water. Wake up, Mr. Blue. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Do I go straight and paint? Look how dark it'll be. No, we don't want it that dark, so we gotta hurry up, get some water, and spread that color out because I'm painting standing up on this easel. It's actually running. All right. So I got this little dark, dark mark because I used the dark watercolor paint. So I'm getting more water. Stir it up. Go back and get more water. And now let's paint all over this area. Let's see, let me turn it a little bit more. There we go. I'm sorry you couldn't see it, but I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, stir it. Get some more water. Wipe it. And see if it runs, that's okay. Just kind of like you're mopping the floor, you're going on top. Remember, try not to go over the same area that you just did. We're repeating the process again. Start, you know what, get some water, stir it, get some more water, wipe it, and then just start painting. And kind of go fast. I'm trying not to go back over those areas. Don't say, you know what, this looks too light, I'm gonna go back over. Telling you, you're gonna tear a hole in your paper. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do it again. Get some more water on your brush. All right, stir it in the blue watercolor paint. All right, get some more water and wipe it. And, ooh, that was dark. That was, ooh, that was too dark. That's okay, we're gonna keep going. I spread out a little more, so it won't be too dark. Ooh. Um, now let me do what last time, what last time. Do, 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 do. Stir it, more water, wipe it on the cup. Alrighty, and I think all the areas are done. Alrighty, you guys, voila. Look at that, small, medium, and large shapes to make fish. Oval circles and triangles, color your fish different colors. You can make stripes and patterns, or you can just do different parts of the fish body, different colors. Make the seaweed, I mean, no, the sand on the bottom brown. 
It doesn't have to be a straight line. It can be bumpy like it's a little heel. Make some seaweed. Go from the bottom with the sand up and overlap it behind the fish by stopping and starting when you get to the fish. And then color as hard as you can. You can add other details, other sea animals, and then paint with watercolor blue paint. And voila. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. All right, that was fun. Bye.